In a life after people, the invaders are on the march. One village on Earth was abandoned 65 years ago because of an invasion of a different kind. Sixty-five years into a life after people, nature continues to invade man's structures, pulling down roofs and tearing apart walls. Nestling in a Dorset valley is the lost village of Tynum, where time has stood still. People lived and farmed here for more than 5,000 years. In 1939, war broke out. In December 1943, when the war office needed more land for firing practice, the 252 residents were asked to leave, albeit temporarily, and were told they could return at the end of the war. The farmers basically sold everything and they left. So it was actually really sad. The very, very last person to go out was the lady of the manor, and she pinned a notice onto the church door as she left. We have given up our homes where many of us have lived for generations to help win the war to keep men free. We will return one day and thank you for treating the village kindly. It was thought that people would be allowed back but with the onset of the Cold War in the late 40s and 50s, the armies decided to retain the land. In 1948, the War Office took out a compulsory purchase order on the land. The village has been empty ever since, invaded by the natural world. Stone farmhouses built in the early 19th century show how time and the seasons can destroy what humans have built. This is a typical English farmhouse that's been abandoned for about six decades or so and the processes of neglect have been allowed to happen. You can see here how the timber lintel has been attacked by woodworm, dry rot. It's split at a critical point near to the support and already the stone above is leaning precariously on the point of collapse. Within a few years or so, that'll have collapsed to the, to the floor. And you can see from the condition of the loose bricks and stones on the ground that that process has already taken place in other parts of the building. The walls have fallen in as they've lost their support. In another few hundred years, this will just be a mound of brick and stone. Tynum bears the scars of an aggressive invader. Now, the building behind me is severely damaged, as you can see. Now, this is not rotting wood or high winds, the normal agents of decay causing this. It's the work of a creature that can crawl through three feet of earth in less than a minute. The European badger. What the badgers have done is burrow underneath the very walls of the building to such an extent that there has been a significant collapse in a number of parts of the building. Badgers are among the world's fastest diggers and have been known to create tunnel systems as much as a thousand feet long. Now this cable wall is about three feet thick. The original builders must have thought it would last forever. And if the badgers continue to extend their property, they will eventually destroy the property erected by the previous occupants, the humans. It could last for another 50 years, 60 years before the badgers finally cause the building to collapse. Creatures more rare than badgers also call Tynum home. In the absence of humans and their poisons and pesticides, animals are thriving. It has become a sanctuary for many, many species of birds and animals and also butterflies. There's one animal that actually protects Tynum from complete conquest. 
the army allows grazing sheep from nearby farms to keep the grass short. Without the sheep, the valley would begin to return to its ancient condition. Nature would take over. All the short grass would revert to very coarse grasses. That would be succeeded by gorse, bramble, scrub, and that eventually would be succeeded by trees. So we would become a woodland. And much of Britain, of course, a thousand years ago, was woodland. The timber posts will rot and fall. The barbed wire will take hundreds of years to corrode, but eventually the iron and carbon will be reabsorbed into the earth from where they originally came. In several thousand years, geological processes will complete the invasion of time. Eventually, soil will be blown in, trees will take root, and the only evidence of a former community would be capable of being gained by excavating down to find the remnants of these stone buildings. But otherwise, it will look like native countryside. Around the world, the forces of destruction are gaining the upper hand as man's works are overthrown by hurricanes and invasive species. Seventy years into a life after people. These are the last days of Shanghai's Oriental Pearl Tower. In the time of humans, it dominated the skyline of China's largest city. A skyline that has sunk 35 inches under its own weight since man disappeared. Now the waters of the Huangpu River have flooded the streets. And even though the Pearl's three concrete and composite support columns are thrust more than 100 feet into the ground, that foundation is rotting away. The columns lean one way, the spire another. Under the unbearable strain, the former pride of Shanghai cracks and falls.